here we are. This is downtown Plano, Missouri, on Route 66. It's called a Green County Historic Site, Plano, a ghost town, circa 1881. This is all that's left here. This guy used to be a former Tidal gas station right in the corner. Sold Tidal gas, of course. Used to have a grocery store. Little sandstone building. It's got that rough rock facade look. This here is the general store, the Plano General Store. Dates back to 1902. It's a two story sandstone building. It's overgrown with ivy and trees. Local myth. They say it was a casket factory. You know, for dead people, or mortuary, crematorium maybe, to this beautiful structure. It's still standing today. It's our Plano General Store. Anyway, that's kind of everything out here in Plano, Missouri. Hey, so now we're on Route 66. Right here, coming from Plano, we got our Dollar Tree. There's not a lot here, but we'll take a look anyway. This is an old Skelly gas station. The Pump Island here. Check that, it's still here. That's the original pole. Right here for the Skelly sign, right on top. 1930s Skelly gas station inside. You can see anything. I think it's boarded up. We're gonna head this way one block into town. Check out some old buildings. This uh, building here used to be uh, called the Main Street Service Station. Anyway, originally it was built in 1927 known as Stone's Corner, but it's gone. But our antique store, this guy, holy moly, called the Main Street Stone Building. Dates back to 1907. It's a two-story, super solid appearance here. So at one time this was a movie theater. And now it's a, it's a vacant warehouse. Let's see, this guy here, it's called Richard's Antiques. This building was built in 1906. It's got a wood frame with stucco and stone walls on the outside. It's got two rooms. It served as a stable for boarding horses. Then there's a meat packing plant. Then more recently an antique store. Hey, today it's a great day in Missouri. I'm at a place called Paris Springs. This is the famous Sinclair gas station. And on the street here, we got a great shield. US 66. So the cobblestone barn over here. That was built first in 1926. And shortly after, the owners built this Sinclair gas station. The traditional Sinclair Spanish eclectic look and style. Then they opened the Gay Prita store. And the gas station that burned down in 1955 and is rebuilt in this style to keep its Route 66 1930s look, except it stopped selling gas. But we do have these cool gas pumps here just for looking at, called the Paris Springs Cobblestone Garage. It was built in 1926. Single bay garage made of that rough cobblestone. It's cool antiques out here. Now we got the little sheriff's car. Here we got a cool looking Dodge truck. We got an outhouse here. Pepsi Coke for five cents and another cool car. 1928 International Six Speed Special. This guy here, this building, it's called the Gay Parita Store. Built in 1930. A little Spanish Mediterranean revival style. One story stucco building. We're on Route 66. Out here is Paris Springs with the Gay Parita Sinclair Station. Forget the bypass, but head out to the main. Route 66 Road, right here, this is called 2062, and this here is Route 66 from 1926 as it heads into the town of Spencer, Missouri. On the other side of that 
beautiful truss bridge. This is called the Johnson Creek Bridge. It's a five panel Pratt through truss bridge. Just gorgeous. We got a car coming over right now. So I'll walk up here to the little Spencer store. I'll show you what we got here. This thing's called the Village. This building here is called the Spencer Garage and Service Station. It's the largest building in the village. This originally was a Tidal service station. Later it sold Phillips 66. Today it's just a nicely restored vintage 66 station with that classic orange Phillips 66 sign up top. It's got that beautiful rounded parapet. Conceals the rounded garage roof. Anyway, originally had a single door, and later double doors on the garage here. So this here's a cafe and a barber shop right here. So originally it was the filling station's office, expanded out. Now we have a cafe here. Anyway, it's a little town of Spencer called the Village. And that beautiful, beautiful bridge. I hope they never tear that down. That's just gorgeous. So we're going to head west this way to our next town of Heatonville on Route 66. We're on Route 66, headed right outside the town of Spencer. Check this out. This is the original Route 66 road right here. Never been widened, never been asphalted, never been anything. There's really not much to see in Heatonville. This way is east, headed west on Route 66. You pass a little schoolhouse, pretty much in ruins. But you get this guy here. This is the old Castle Rock Courts. It was built in 1931. It used to be a motel and a filling station. Then it opened a grocery and a restaurant. You got two little gas pumps on an island right in the front there. One story building is now a private residence. Up on our left, this is our last building. There's really not a lot to see in Heatonville. From a little Route 66 perspective, this is a 1936 D.L. Morris gas station and garage. And on the left was a old post office from 1872 constructed of our local sandstone and fieldstone. Inside here, a little peak. Yeah, not a lot going on. So anyway, a little Route 66, right out here. We're headed west to a town called Albatross. This little house on the south side, way up there, that guy, used to be called the Adamson Oil Company little simple filling station built around 1926. This is a gas station. It's called the Hollis Hill House Station. And it's all gone. But you got the driveway here and if you're really nosy and picky and creative, you might be able to find the little pump islands, which you probably like right here in the middle. This is our last building in Albatross. It's an auto body shop. I'm going to guess this is built in the 1930s. See something here? Beautiful. There we go. It's a great giraffe style sandstone house. Absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. That's pretty much all we have in Albatross. We'll drive out of town. Head up here. This tiny little north frontage of it, you get a taste of Route 66. Now here we have Route 66 on this little frontage road. There's the new Route 66, and that's the 1926 alignment. And right in the corner here, at Junction UU, this used to be the site of Bill Station, owned by Bill Tiller in 1920s, but it fell into decay in 1979, it kind of fell apart, so. It's not here anymore. But this building here is called the Henson Building. It's a hotel. 
sat right here on Route 66, built around 1924, two-story building. It's got 14 rooms, eight on the bottom and six on top. Made it that local cobblestone. It's got a broad pitched roof. Used to have a restaurant, a store, even a barber shop. You got a little red pump right in the front here. Check that out. That's yeah, pretty cute. A little Route 66 decoration for us. This here is the schoolhouse called the Phelps School. It was built in 1889. One room school located right on Route 66. It was abandoned in the 1980s, but yeah, restored it. It looks really, really cool right now. So right on Route 66, this is looking east. You head into this little driveway, and here's what's left of Reed's cabins in the town of Rescue. It's built around 1926. Wow, anyway, that's kind of sad. So on the right were uh, two stone wall, wood frame gabled cabins. You see here, right there, little cabins. They kind of fell apart. Then there's a third one taken down in the 1980s. This is the main house here. There's a former cafe had stone facing and this gabled roof on top. It's a great piece of property though. It's called Reed's Cabins, 1926. This building up here, right there, that kind of square building there. So this building here is called Brown's Garage, right next to Reed's. It's this white building on the north side of Route 66. So it operated as a service garage, and they probably also had a gas station right out here. Hey, good morning. Today we're in the town of Plue, Missouri, right on Route 66. This is looking east towards Rescue, and this is going west towards, say, Joplin. This guy here, well, used to be our first stop. Today it's the Trimline Barns, but it used to be an old yellow rectangular concrete building here probably a gas station this place is totally forgotten we're sitting on the bible belt and up and down this whole highway here we're going to see lots of really cool bible or biblical billboards with cool little sayings from the bible now across from the trim line right here these bushes a bunch of rubble you'll find this would be a gas station right in here. Right there. See that? That's a gas station. Now it's just all in the rubble in the bushes. Here we have a cow in the fields. Up here, all these little homes are so cool with that little sandstone look there. Well, that's pretty much the little town of Plu up here in Missouri. Now we're headed to a place called Avila or Avia up here on Route 66.